hey, I don't expect you to understand what I see and think and feel and hear and understand. You know, we're different people. When I hear someone say leftist, right, alt-right, liberal, uh, conservative, and then they say like that person is a label. I immediately think less of that person that said that. So even like Milo on uh, Tucker Carlson, they're talking about the right. Well, all these people on the left, the left of what? The left of what? There is no left or right. There is no liberal. I mean, people may have liberal ideas and conservative ideas about how to, how to be, but those aren't necessarily political things. Like, I want to eat more of that food. That's a liberal way to be. I want to save it for later. That's a conservative way to be. So if I want to save my food for later, does that make me a conservative? Well, yeah, it does. But see how fucking ridiculous that is? I'm not going to get angry. I'm going to stay calm. But you've got to know, when once you get smart enough to see how ridiculous it is to label people, once you see other people labeling black and white, I'm not white, I'm not black. My skin is colored. It's a colorful color. It's like a pinkish, yellowish, reddish, orangish, whitish hue. And at the same time, it's it's not white. So once you once you figure that out, which I have, and then you start to see people like on mains on, on like getting like lots of attention, saying like all those people on the right. Like the alt-right. Have you heard of the alt-right? Okay. Not only is it not right or left or up or down, it's alternative to the right or left or up or down. And apparently the people on the alt-right are like white supremacists. So they think that people are white, like white. And uh, this is like the literology. Yeah, I get it. You have feelings. These people have feelings, I get it, and they're expressing them the best way they know how, by using dumb labels. Great, I do it too, okay? But that doesn't mean that I'm just going to sit silently by while people say moronic shit. There is no left and right. Left and right are, are directions. That's all. Political parties are ridiculous. People that have blind political affiliation to a party are basically like stupid Nazis. You know, like people that just want to be loved. They just want to be on the team. You know, I just want to feel like I'm a part of something. I get it. I get it. I understand. But that doesn't make it right. In fact, it doesn't make it not ignorant. You want to be on a team. You want to you wanna be a Democrat. Well, look at what that means. What does it mean? You, you signed up as a Democrat. That's all it means. You signed some piece of paper that said, I'm a, I'm a Democrat. Like I'm a Californian, right? I signed a piece of paper that says I'm a Californian. But the reality of it is when it comes to politics, we need like all independent parties. If there's going to be political parties, they should all be independent. You call them whatever you want. I don't know why we always have to group up or why we all have to group up. What's the point of like, gang it, let's not fucking NFL football. We're trying to solve problems. Why would we want to all group up into little parties and, and try and get like our party to the top? It's the stupidest fucking thing. All It makes total sense for us to be unified. So that brings back to the left and right when people talk about left and right. Like that person on the left... Like Milo, he's very dumb in that he says, all those people on the left. It's kind of a stupid thought. Like, I don't hate the guy, but he's obviously less intelligent than I am. If he doesn't see that there is no left and right. That when you're insulting someone or identifying someone, referring to them as a leftist is about as stupid as saying they're white. Or... Tall. That person's tall. Okay, I get it. 
you can say they're relatively tall my skin is relatively lighter than yours and maybe that person is relatively more more liberally aggressive about political change and that person wants the politics to stay the same so they're more conservative about their politics is that right but then what's politics how much money you spend how much food you eat how much food they get to eat oh wow wow this is like eight years of knowledge packed into one video what the fuck am i dealing with the fuck am i talking about i'm gonna watch this i'm gonna watch this and i'm gonna see what i said and think it's probably incendiary what i'm doing right now it's probably probably a little too much for some people because i i've mean, I probably insulted your values and if i've done that it was unintentional but at the same time i was willing to let loose like oh my own ianopolis but let's stop labeling each other. Let's start looking at each other as people. Just look at the person. Who is that person? That's the person. That's their person. It doesn't matter what they thought in the past or what, what they, where they live, how they communicate. They're, they're a human. They're a person. They need to be treated as an equal. Oh, divisiveness. It's so weird. In 2006, we were getting away from the divisiveness. Did you notice? You noticed that people were starting to come together and realize that the political structure is centrist at best. We're all kind of in a, in a cloud of vaporosity. And as soon as like on, on Fox News or CNN, like Rachel Maddow, who has some respect because she's intelligent, She's a, a powerful female in the entertainment industry. And that's weird that I call C MSNBC entertainment, but you know her show is kind of a joke show. Um, starts talking about the right, like with this, uh, this, this semblance of authority, people start to think that maybe I'm supposed to believe that. It's like the little kids getting lip injections when they see Carly uh, Jenner. Kylie Jenner get fucking lip and like it's disgusting. I'm on Tinder, man. I'm swiping. I you know how many women have lip injections? It's fucking disgusting. What the fuck? And all that's happened is that's what they saw. So they thought that was normal. And it's the same thing with this political junk. Like you see it on TV and you're, you we're, you know, I was I, I'm still impressionable. I get it. And then when I was younger, I was way more impressionable. I started to wake up and, and realize what I am a little bit. It got me to see the stupid, the junk that I would think and say, and like the follower in me started to take a back seat to the leader. Seeing people like Rachel Maddow talk about the right doesn't make it okay to do that. She's dumb. She's just not quite there yet that she sees us all as united as individuals that are different but not group lumped into categories that's not the way that humans work and anytime you do that that you start to think of a group of people as that's who they are and that you're damaging yourself and you're damaged you're severely damaging your ability to communicate with those people so don't do it just let it go look at these people like real people like you like if they were your neighbor you'd just be hanging out with them and you'd be learning about them and their their ideas and policies. Maybe you'd have a debate about stuff, but about stuff, you know, not about people. Weak minds talk about people. This is what Eleanor Roosevelt used to say. Weak minds talk about people. Mediocre minds talk about things. Strong minds talk about ideas. When you debate, debate the ideas. Not about Donald Trump. Debate the ideas with Donald Trump. You and Donald get together and talk about ideas. Don't sit and talk to someone else about Donald Trump. That's idiotic. Talk about ideas. And if he happens to be involved in those ideas, great. But if we have an idea-focused society, we're going to have a stronger political establishment. But we need a new democracy. We need something that's like electronic and global, fully checked and balanced within. You know, Congress should be passing laws onto the Internet for us to vote on, not voting on them like, they shouldn't be writing and voting on their own laws. God, what am I doing? What am I talking about? I know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the truth.